Uh, such a great picture, James. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Yes. Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, who am I? This is both people me spotlight and recap. I was getting a compliment of something I just did, and I, I just got thrown off for a second. Most of that. Welcome to the show. It is Soap Sunday continuing. Opening a chat room so you guys can come on in. Can I type hello? H E double L O. There. Yeah, that's it, I guess. Hello. Hello. Hello, um, hello everybody. Welcome to the show. It's me and Miss Tammy Gomez back. Hello, Tammy hey. Gomez. So we are here to talk about the bold and beautiful the week that was. That was is. Uh, guys, come on in. So while you're coming in, I'll do church announcements. I see Rodelli coming in. So we just did the YNR, and I just released it to the wild. So it is, I just shared it out there. It is out there to the wild. So it is out there. You can watch it. We had a good time on that show. It's out there. After this is the GH Ring Spotlight Recap. Me and Frank Moran break down the week that was and wasn't on Port Charles, in Port Charles. Uh, at 1 o'clock, so we're doing that. And that's your soap block here. Also, do check out Dish and Days. It's their seven-year anniversary. Uh, being on the air, Tammy and I both came from there. We're burst from there. <laughs> um, and so they on at 3 o'clock on their channel, Dish and Days. Um, I don't do anything special or not, for sure, but they are probably going to mention it. But I'll be talking to creator Tony Moore tomorrow live, 12 noon Pacific Standard Time on daytime today. I'll post the links and everything later. Um, he and I were talking about Dish Days and our time and how he created it and the whole story. Because literally because of him, I wouldn't be here doing this. Tammy wouldn't be with me doing this. Amanda Russ, who's normally with us, would not be doing this with us. She would have her podcast. Like there's a chain, a ripple effect that happened that, that Tony had the foresight to say, we should do after shows for soap opera. And now it's on After Buzz TV. So thanks to After Buzz TV also for saying yes to him. Yes. And then saying yes to me when I chose to do General Hospital, YNR, and Bold and Beautiful. So it's kind of like um, a ripple effect. I, lo I love how that happens. And yeah. that's why we do after shows. I mean, we do them. And that's because of Tony Moore's foresight. And the way we did them was also because of Tony Moore, because he modified the model that After Buzz had started to talk about five episodes a week. Yeah. It's not easy. Tammy and I no. did it. It's not easy at all. Right, Tammy? Not easy at all. The pros make it look easy, right? Yes, we do. We also show us being sweating. So, um, but we really do. Oh, hi, I see you. I don't see you before. Hi, Bridget Epps. Hi, people in there. Um, so, yeah, so we just, we want to give a shout out to him and thank you, thank you, thank you um for um uh, giving us a chance I, I said i you know i never thought i'd be doing this this is not anything was not planned in my golden years i never thought i'd be doing this so i'm very happy to do this and we do take breaks sometimes because it gets tiring you have other things going on we always come back to you because you guys literally make my shows huge hits for me so thank you to you for who actually tune in whether it's now or later doesn't matter Every view, every download, every listen does count. Who does? Let's count. Are we talking in a vacuum? Am I doing anything? <laughs> um, and I see I spell beautiful wrong. I'm going to change that really quick. Um, yeah, because I'm like, it's, it's spelled yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. There we go. It made me, it made me mad. I don't want to have that sitting like that. Oh, Bob, let me save it. This is, this, is all, this is all the behind the scenes stuff you guys don't you know, <laughs> know, know about. Like, why is it not letting me save? So that we can I save it now? Oh, what, what errors are resolved. Hi, you guys. This is like life. Oh, I didn't press a button. Now I can save it. Okay, so we're talking about the bold and beautiful the week that was. Um, this week, some stuff came out in the in the wrong hands. Um, uh, and I, I want to I just want to start out. Poor Douglas. Douglas I know. The last month, Tammy Douglas He's... has been questioned. Like a I jailer, know. like a, like a prisoner. Yeah. Whole month. I mean, like, how do you feel all that? And shame on Steffi. Shame on on everybody <laughs> he, for for putting him into this interrogation seat. And I know Thomas is like, like there. You. Oh. <laughs> That's how I feel. I feel yeah, so I, bad for Douglas. He already feels bad enough. He does feel bad. But it's funny, just go, are you sure? Are you sure? I, I, I want to, because he's a kid. I know he's a kid, everybody. So I, but, but I know he wanted to say, excuse me, bitches. I'm telling you the truth. I don't know what I'm talking about. He's like, I'm not a liar. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's what he wanted to say. Because he was not lying. He told me what he, what he saw. And when he, made him, when he made him think harder, that whole sequence made him think harder. And he's like, 
Jesus, he is mommy's daddy. Uh, <sighs> I know. With another sideline, which had me laugh, I was howling. Sheila. Sheila and Deacon, hilarious. They are. Sheila is just chomping at the bit to know what's going on. She and is just, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm shocked she hasn't imploded at this point. I know. Oh my God. I, I, okay. So I have my lines of the week. Is it on here? Let's see what my lines of the week. My line of the week. One of them was from Sheila. Karma really is a bitch, Brooke, just like you. Yeah. Oh, you know, she goes on and on. Sheila goes on and on about how changed she is. And I'm telling you, you give her just a quarter of a quarter of a quarter of a pinky and she will run with it and destroy your life. And that's, she's just bent on destroying poor, I say poor Brooke, and I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure there are people who would argue poor Brooke, but yeah. you know. Yes. Yes. So Brooke brought on herself on some level, but she didn't because it was Sheila who did this, of course. Right. Too. Like, it, it's right. All, so it's, it's kind of, it's really screwy. You play with, I mean, in real life, play with somebody's sobriety is not no fodder not for fodder i'm laughing because it's a soap opera so, absolutely yeah, you know it's a soap opera um but it's not but it's not you know um but yeah and also yeah because oh i couldn't stop laughing the whole week okay, he's not gonna say anything right he's not gonna say anything right like you ain't worried about douglas oh like, you're not thank you they're like thank they're like you. Leo was like oh no we talked to douglas and you talk to him he's been fine he's very fine right um you were about, about deacon that you're not worried about this little kid over here. No. Nope. Right to counsel. No. Nope. That scene was not good either. I like that scene. You know, that whole conversation with Ridge and Deacon, it was just, you know, Ridge's interrogation of him is just so annoying and so frustrating and just so, what's your point? Right. Do you trust your wife or not? Like, what's your point? Right. And Deacon stood up to him, though. See, it's the first well, yeah. Time. The ticket was like, I'm tired of this. this exactly. He was the voice of, at least for me. Yeah, me too. Like, I'm tired of this. Yes. I'm tired of this. He's like, and, and that's what he, that's what he's talking But see, they start getting a little too smug too. It's like, hey, don't give it away. If you only knew. What do you know? What do you I know. know? Why did he, I know. I said, oh my, oh, it's that Sean. It's not Sean Caden. <laughs> uh, Deacon, why'd you do that? Yeah. Like, don't, it's just like, you're doing fine. So you start doing, well, that's what you think. And, oh, really? Yeah, you, think, you don't like, know. Oh, it's like, oh. Uh, <sighs> are you baiting <laughs> him? I know. Stop. Just smile and let him do his thing. But he's like, I'm at my job right now. And Bridget's is like, yeah, of course you're here. I knew you would be with the bottles of booze and then at the bar. And, and it's like, Go home. Go home, Rich. Yeah. Go home. Yeah. Leave me the F alone. Yeah. I mean, I mean Rich just feel so dumb. He's gonna feel so <laughs> I'm probably laughing. It's gonna feel so dumb when this comes out. He's gonna feel so <laughs> because his wife is at home. She like he could but he can on I mean, it was Friday's episode. He came home. Came in the door, right? He came in the door, and he, it, was, it was a great direction move. Yeah. Brooke is at tears her eyes. Hi! He's at the door. He just sits at the door and he's just like, I wish we could get back to where we used to be. Like, I'm just, I wish I could make you happy. Like, you're, you're not happy. Like, he felt tired and defeated on some level. And it was the body language. They had him like sit at the door and, just like, I just wish I could help. Like he was like really perplexed, and I and I get that Brooks also at the same time kind of going, I don't know why I drank. That part's fucked up too. It's like I don't know why. Yeah, I drank. yeah. That's but why she's both, tormented. She's tormented. I mean, obviously, she's tormented about what happened because of it, but I think she's more tormented about what triggered it. Yes. I mean, she knows the road of her sobriety. Yes. She knows how it should work. Something needed to have triggered that whole chain of. Yes behavior and nothing nothing makes sense right right and no but one is hearing her they're not she keeps saying that 
Yeah, yeah no well, you know, there. well, you know, that's what instead happened. Of, instead, her husband saying, basically, when he walked through the door, he said, I wish you would just get over it. That's yeah, what basically, he said to her. That's what he's saying to her. He's over When it. he said that to her, I was like, you make me sick. Rich is, was, and will ever be annoying Tammy Govea. Oh. Uh, Rich is, oh, here's Amanda. Amanda Russell in the chat room. Rich is better than anyone else. Remember Tammy? How could you forget that, huh? Right, exactly. Yeah. You know, but see, here's what, the show's doing a great job, though, because we have this over here going on. And everybody can now stop talking about the hair, because now Chris Allen has a cute haircut now. It's all fine. Taylor's fine now. Can I just now. say... Can I just say, Krista Allen can rock a short do yeah. like very few women. Right. Like, thank God you can see her face now. Yes. She's gorgeous. Yes, she is. You can see her. She's like, hey, guys, I'm here. Yes. <sighs> thank you. Exactly. No, exactly. <sighs> exactly. No, exactly. That's the whole point. It's like, okay, everybody get over it now. You can screw the wigs. You're done now. Now we got her in there. She's Now she's there. So now we can focus on the acting. The yes. Film. Um, and the thing, what, the thing about this story is they're setting it up really well because they're going, Brooke's a mess at home. But over here, Taylor's easy. Okay, so that's my question. Yes. You know, when Rich says, you know, thank you so much for, for this, you know, so easy. And she's like, it's always been easy between us. Has it always been easy between them? On some level, yes, some level, no. It's a different people. dynamic. I, with Brooke, there's always the, yes. there, it's volatile. With Brooke, there was always the other Forrester men. There was Stephanie. Yeah. There was all kinds There's drama. Of, There's yeah. drama with Brooke. Yes. Where Taylor, well, you had her own stuff too. And, and, when, and when Brooke said, it was a couple weeks ago, she said, um, you completely forget what Taylor put me through also. Yeah. You actually deacon. Even if, I mean, there was stuff, there was, but, but it's all Rich's fault. That's the whole thing. It's Rich. Everybody forgets it's Rich. No matter who played Rich, whether it was Ron Moss, or towards the gay, Ridge always was back and forth. That was back and forth, back and forth. It's like with Liam. With Liam. And so, but I thought they had they had their own problems too. Taylor and Rich had their own problems too. But right now, it is easy. They have nothing, they have nothing to fight about. There's nothing to fight about. She just came back to town. There's nothing, there's no baggage really. They've been they've came to town. Um, she's a therapist. Um, and so she's there for the listener. She's a good listener. She's there to listen. She's in love with him, yes. But she's like, I, you know, I'm here, I'm here to listen. Um, and just you come to me and, and it's just it's just it'll be easy for you. And her kids are egging them on, you know, and so you know, and I, you know, and that's and people have been people have been commenting. See, I don't have this in my life. My parents divorced when I was like 12, 13. I never wanted them back together. So I never had that. That was I can't imagine them in the same room. Um, and they're both still alive, but I could imagine them. They're both great other people. I could not imagine them in the same room. So I never had this. Um, do you see why? I mean, do you see why adult kids may want their parents back together? No. Okay, I'll show you that. Okay. No. It's like get over it. Let your parents live their lives. What is this? What is this? Yes. I, I don't understand. I don't get it. Oh, Jeannie, Jeannie, I'm friends with Ron Moss. I love Ron Moss. That's my buddy. He's the coolest dude in the room. I tell that all the time to him. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying. No matter who played hit Blade Ridge, there was always drama. Yep. Yes, Ted. Here you go. Here comes Amanda Russ pulling out the rap sheet. <laughs> I can see Amanda too. Okay, can I say something? Can I say something? Yes, Amanda Russ, you can say something. Um, Taylor killed Darla with her car and she shot Bill so easy. I can totally hear Amanda saying that. Yeah. I don't care. Okay, Amanda, I'm gonna say this to you. Like, because now you're in the chat room, Amanda. So I'm gonna talk to you like I talk to everybody else. It's a soap opera. They're all bad. They've all done horrible things. Like, like Matthew Magazine told Tammy, it's a soap opera. Right. So, yeah, Everything happens a, for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. It's a soap opera. <laughs> um, but yes, but no, but um, I love Ron Moss too. That's like, yeah, so like, no, but the thing is, it's just, it's, they're setting it up where it's, it's easy, easy, breezy. It's like Brooks drama right now. Taylor's easy. Hope's drama. The other kids right now, no drama from them. No. I mean, Thomas is not creating. They, don't, they, don't, they have no personal drama going on right now that's affecting them anymore. Thomas did that a long time ago. Stephanie, they all well, did that's that. why I think they're so obsessed with the parents. Right. With Ridge. Like, they don't have drama going on in their lives, no. so they need to focus on something else. 
and it's really annoying. I'll tell you, they, I mean, you know, they look good together though. I mean, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say Chris and Torson look good together. They look amazing together. Did you see that? It was a soap opera digest photo. Yes. The picture of three of them. Where everyone's in black. Yes. (sighs) I'm like, it all works. It all works. Gorgeous. It all works. Dang. Um, Yes. So I'm just saying, I mean, it's going to be when it, if it, if it, when it does happen, um, I'm crazy. just confused. Okay. Well, okay. I... Because last time <laughs> Taylor was on the landscape. Yes. She and Brooke were in the kitchen having a food fight. Yeah, the cake fight at the wedding. Right. Wet. <laughs> okay. So now she's back in town, and she just wants to to help Brooke. She just wants to be that ear. If you, you know, it's what I do. I'm a professional. If you need someone to talk to and I'm part of me, it's like Sheila. Part of yeah. me wants to believe her because she sounds for real. Yes. And part of me is like, no, I don't believe you. Are you I, looking for dirt to destroy Brooke and Ridge? Because I, that's, it, that's been your MO from day one. I think it's a combination of all of the above, all the deal, D, all of the above. I think it's one of those things where Brooke and Taylor have a complicated relationship also. They're kind of frenemies, I guess. But it's all because, again, Ridge was the was a major cause. Stephanie was a major cause. There are people who were major causes in this. And they each had kids with him. They, everybody had kids. Taylor was presumed dead at one point. Brooke was gone. And it's just all this. Ridge was presumed dead at one point. Like everybody's just like, there's a long, arduous, complicated history of the three of them. Um, and I think that's why even the kids, the, the next generation was like, we don't want to be like them. You know, because it was just, it was just such a back and forth thing. Um, so I think, I think, so I think Taylor does on some level does kind of, is kind of concerned. They're all kind of one, they're all part of the same family in this weird way also. Yeah. So, you know, um, but I mean, but Taylor has said, I'm in love with Rich. I still am. So she still she still am, and going with that, let's get Charlie. Let's get Charlie. 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 I chortled when they brought Charlie in. He was like, "Okay, let's go ahead and can you can you, can you put it?" So they put a system up, which we didn't know about. Of course, you know it. I didn't see that coming. Actually, I was like, I never saw that coming. I didn't either. There's a system where it's a, because of Sheila. That's so funny. Because of Sheila, I laughed because of Sheila. They put it up, and as we go, and you can. It was, it was not really hacking because I put this for myself. Um, so anytime, anytime there's, you know, Charlie, I like it. Um, but so, but when, he, when they told him why they were looking, he goes, get out. I laughed so hard. And he's like a regular person. That's hilarious. Oh, and the little cactus that Sheila pricked him too. I was like, that poor cactus. They don't cactus alone. <laughs> they don't cactus alone. Um, well, they go in on the laptop. Deacon goes back in. He went back in. And then, well, first, the whole buildup. When Douglas tells Thomas, and he finally gets it, and Stephanie comes out, I was like, her, just tell me, just tell me, just tell me, just tell me, just tell me. He's like, slowly getting there, slowly getting there. And then when she said, Deacon and Brooke kissed, her face was like, I don't know what to black. It's commercial. Anyway, so when they found out, that he went back in and they saw a other figure and it was a kid. And then when they saw that he stayed overnight, they lived to the morning, she said, gotcha, Brooke. Steffi was beside herself, beside herself. Yes. Steffi's behavior is despicable because instead of What's going to happen? Do you think she's going to confront Brooke? Or is she just going to blow this out of the That's cannon the and present so, it? I saw, I've heard two different things. I had heard rumors she's going to go to Brooke. Then her rumors she's going to go to Taylor. I've heard both. I don't know which one's going to be. I've heard both. That she's going to go to Taylor and tell her mother everything. Or go to Brooke to confront her about everything. So I don't know. Well, she told Taylor... I mean, she and Thomas said she's well, cheating. The end. Brooke is I'm cheating. Saying, but him. now, but now it's like at the end that happened at the end. But then now it's like, does she go to Brooke or right. does Taylor go to Brooke? 
because, oh my gosh, you know, part of me just wants her to go running to Ridge, running to her father once both. And I'm, I'm kind of the like, shame on you, Thomas, because you can tell he's a little reluctant yes. to do this. Yes. But Stephanie keeps hammering it in. We're doing it for, for our father's well-being. We're doing it for his well-being because daddy can't take care of himself, apparently. Yep. Brooke is completely controlling him and he can't take care of himself. Uh, I, I, Part of me wants her to just run to Ridge and just vomit all over him and say, Brooke's been cheating on you with Deacon and he spent the night when there's no context. Talk about can't wait till this comes out. Woo. Can't wait till the, the part where Sheila, Sheila's role in all this comes out. Can't wait for the part where nothing. So, okay, Deacon, they kissed, but right. they didn't sleep together. They didn't sleep together. And this whole thing was set in, most, in motion because of Sheila. Mm-hmm. The Sheila thing is going to take forever to come out, though. That's, just, that's I think, this is all going to You know, part of me, James, honestly, this week was like, all right, already. Can we just... Like, let's move this story a little. Let's move faster. That's why I like Friday. That's why I like Friday. Yeah. Friday, it just was like, okay, here we go. Yeah. Let's like move this a little bit. Yes. But I agree. You know, yeah. a, here's a, here's a, here's a Friday. Here we go. Because Ridge um, is going to be his, I'm going to leave you. I'm, I'm going to Taylor because Taylor's easy. And, you know, she's there for my ego and you're not Brooke. That's basically what's going to happen. And that's Ridge. Ridge that's like, Ridge. He's like, his, he's like his ego stroke. We know that. That's Ridge. And and Brooke's not in a position right now to stroke any ego. No, she isn't. She just can't do it. So. And like I said, again, they just kissed. All this yeah. for a kiss. Uh, he was, she was drunk. It was a kiss. I like Ridge. I was drunk. I kissed. Yeah, I did. And it's so funny because I honestly didn't have an issue when Brooke kissed Bill and she wasn't drunk. Yeah, I know. That's not a, a story. I just don't want her with Ridge. I don't want Brooke with Ridge. I don't want him with anyone. I want him in a corner alone. He should be alone. But, you know, I think I think him and Taylor are going to do good together. I think I do too. Yep. I do too. Yeah. So this is going to be a very interesting. This is a very interesting storyline that's and happening. Honestly, it's, it's trying to get somewhere. But I think the Sheila thing is going to, be, it's going to take forever for that to come out. Wouldn't you feel betrayed by it's Brooke just, for, as, if you were Brooke? Because you know what's going to happen. He's going to go. Be, he's going to go back to Taylor. We're just oh, going yeah, to go back to Taylor yeah. when this all comes out. Yes. Yeah. And Brooke is going to have to fight to get him back. Yes. Does she really have to fight? Should yeah. she have to fight to get him back when she didn't do anything wrong? That's what's going to break my heart. Yeah, I haven't seen the promo yet. I haven't seen it yet. But see, I don't I want Taylor. Either, to get but hurt. that's what's going to happen. But see, I don't want Taylor to get hurt because Taylor actually is. She's the innocent party in this one. She just came back to town. She has feelings for Ridge, and if Ridge gives her an inch, but that's what that's what Ridge does. I know. He but vacillates like, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Right. Taylor's going to see this as my. This is it. Right. This is it. Finally, I can have Ridge all myself, and that's not going to happen. Uh, they always put Ridge and Brooke back together. Yes. And I think that's the end game, unless they change the end game. They haven't changed the end game in 30 some odd years. Yeah, right, exactly. As much as I would like them to change the end game, it's not going to change. Because I would mind seeing um, bring back homeboy Jack and, and Lee and have maybe Taylor and Jack. I love Jack. I miss his character. You too. Say Finn's father and her mother, they'd yeah. be hot together. They'd be hot together. Yes. Uh, or her, I, mean, I know her and Bill won't get together. It's too much bad blood, bad blood. But I think Jack would be a hot person for her. And he wouldn't be a Forrester. He wouldn't be a Spencer. He wouldn't yeah. be connected. He's Switzerland. He's neutral. Right. But also Finn hates him at the moment. But that could be something, a good conflict. Yeah. And Taylor going, okay, I'll counsel you. I'm a, I'm a therapist. I'll put you all in therapy together. We'll talk about it. While she's boinking. Oh, I like that. No, I can, seriously, I can see that. That'd be a good, I like that'd be a good that story one. They would, they would look good together, too. I think they would look good together. Yeah. You um, know, this whole triangle, again, I'm tired of it, just as I was tired with the whole Liam, Steffi, and, and Hope triangle. Rick was trying to help Steffi against Sheila. That makes Steffi's behavior worse. Tammy, it's destiny. I agree, Tammy. needs to be low. Uh, it's Brad Bell's endgame, not Bill Bell's old joke. <laughs> All these, all, these, all these bells. Um, so next storyline, because there, there was another storyline this week, folks, <laughs> that I actually liked. I actually was like, they added, they added, adding a character in here 
made me really go really like this week of this of this one. And this is the Paris Carter thing. Yeah. And Adding Grace into the mix was one of the smartest things they could do because she's saying everything that we've said on, on public. Grace is like, I'm the audience, and I'm gonna tell you how weird this looks. Yeah. And when she read Carter, I mean she took the book, that's what she did. There's a book. And she's like, let me just read you. I'm going to continue reading you. Oh, no, no, I'm, not, I'm not done, Carter. No, 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 no. I'm not done. I'm going to keep reading. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I'm not done yet, Carter. I felt so bad for Carter. And oh, I, I did one more thing, Carter. And let me say this five times to you. I don't want her with you. You are not the choice. Homegirl was like, she broke it down. Yeah. Like nobody's business. Yeah. And she looked amazing right. doing it. She only went because I'm the creatures the bomb. I'm like, what? Your mother? She's like, all wild what? fury. That's what she yes. Oh, like. yes. She's wild fury. Yes. She because she can't when she saw them kissing and she grabbed her purse and snuck back out. She's like, that's a, that's a big purse, too. Like nobody, yeah. nobody heard that purse going. That purse. Then she went out, then she went out to the door, and then she was like, I'll stay right here and this in a little bit. See what's mm-hmm. going on. And then hide while daughter Kins runs out. And then she was like, I don't know, I came to see you, Carl. Yeah. Throw the purse back down. Mm-hmm. And the way she did it was so good. I just looked at my, I come back to town and my daughter's doing amazing. Isn't she? Yeah, she's doing great. Yeah, she's doing wonderful. She has a job and friends and, and Zenday. I mean, Zenday's the type of man that's just like the kind of man I want my daughter, right? Yes. Um, you know, it's, it's just, it, Okay, yeah, I know they did a piece on, I, I talked about that, Out, Out Magazine did a piece on Taraya, yeah, I know. Um, uh, anyway, but yeah, so it's like, um, you know, I just, isn't that, isn't that yeah, that is great. Paris is making a name for herself, making a place for herself here. Yes, isn't that wonderful for her and Zenday, who's like the kind of man I would want to have? Um, and You're not such you. good friends with Zenday, aren't it's you, good, Carter? Aren't you, Carter? Good friends. You're such good friends. And he goes, and she said, she pulled it, she did, and, this, and Sarah, she did say, she goes, you are a much older man. She said, much. I was like, and I go, wait a minute, he ain't that much older. I'm like, well, I'm like, yeah, really? Like, yeah, Come on. Like, you're a much older man after my young girl. And, and she was like, and you're with both my daughters? And she probably was, she probably was so, she's like, um, Zoe's still in love with you, just so you know. I thought she's doing great over there in Paris. Oh, professionally, she's doing great. But personally, I believe she still has feelings for you. So now, both my daughters, do you want to do what to my next daughter? And Grace was like, I will, she, she was like, I will burn down this place before I let you, <laughs> before I let you do it, my daughter. And she did. She was like, mm-mm, she's like nope. And she said, I saw you kissing my daughter all lip locked. I was like, ah, right, girl. I love Grace. Grace was my favorite this week. She was like, mm-hmm. And when she told her, um, you heard Zoe. Then she brought up Quinn and them. So you did, oh, you did this to Eric Forrester already. So what's your, what, you're supposed to be a good man? Yeah. I was like, here, what? here is my hope, my deepest, fondest desire, that her words will resonate with Carter in regards to this isn't a good thing. If the foresters find out, they're just gonna think it's me taking another one of their, you know, ruining the relationship and that sort of thing. And because when he's telling Paris at the end of the week, we can't be together. And she's like, no, no, no. Yes, we do. Yeah. Uh, you know, Heather Tom was back on the landscape this week mm-hmm. for just a few minutes. Mm-hmm. And she looks so beautiful. Mm-hmm. And she's so fabulous. Mm-hmm. Maybe Carter will finally let go of this whole forest or women thing. Mm-hmm. Stop trying to, he's not consciously trying to destroy relationships. That's the thing. It's not like he's going in. I just want them to be together. I want Carter and not Heather Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Katie. Katie. <laughs> I want them to be, you know, maybe he'll he'll get out of that vortex and move back over to the Katie vortex. No. So the reason why what happened last week, this this past week and before, yeah. the vortex is the couch. 
again, Tammy. I know. I know. We can't. We can't. We can't. I know. I can't. Can't. I can't. Then they stand I, up and she's hanging on him with her hand on his chest. We can't. Why not? Come on. I mean, I know. It's a war taste. Why are you coming to my house? Why are you going to invite her to your house to tell you can't be together? Yeah. You know that couch is the, the base. Hello. And Go so to a little like, French restaurant and say you can't be together. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, hello. Come on. I mean, Grace even said, stop it or I'll tell the foresters. Right. So to your point, we're hoping it hits him that this is not the way to go. Okay, but she was like, she, oh, she, oh, she, oh, she was like, um, it's just I'll, so annoying though. It's like it's nobody's business. It isn't, but still, like, I get back it. off. Whoever I, he wants to be with or whoever they want to be with, just back off. It's nobody's business. No, Everyone's consensual. I, I mean, to Paris's point. Right. She's completely right. transparent with Zenday, completely yeah. transparent with Carter. There's no deception going on like there was a Yeah, party. but Zenday is not being truthful and he's in love with her. He was going well, to propose to her. What, is he, what do you mean he's not being truthful? With who? I think he's holding, I think on, on Paris, I think he's holding out, he's holding back. Because he's told he, Paris, I will wait for you. That's what he says, I'm saying. You will saying. be my wife. He's right. not holding out. For, well, I'm saying, but my thing is he's not, I think I think he's saying, this, this, this is not working. I don't think he likes it. He's saying, sure, I'll wait for you. Oh, for it. sure. He doesn't like it. And, and Grace sees it. That's why Grace went and talked to both of them. She talk, See, Grace talked to everybody. She was talking to everybody. She's like, Paris, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> Penny, what's going on? Carter, what's going on? She went to everybody. So when she got when she got to, when she got to Carter, that's when she was ready for band. Like, <laughs> exactly. She, she did a little stuff. Yeah. Them, and, and everything. Yes, she is a grown woman. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm a parent too, and I will butt my head in there too if my daughters were for the same man. I would say so. No, I'm just talking, uh, you know, in the in the overall sense of things. Every everything that Carter's done, it, he, everyone's in Carter's business. <laughs> this is all in his business. Well, that's his fault. But that's called storyline, so that's fine. <laughs> it's got storyline. It's right? a silver Tammy. If it gives you know? Carter storyline, fine. Let's just keep good, great. But the thing is, but the thing is, I look at it this way: it's still it's Carter's fault. He's making bad decisions, which of course people do. We're adults. I know. I think he's stunted. He's stunted in the romance book part, which we talked about before. That's why he fell for Quinn. That's why he felt like the Maya thing fell apart. Like he's he's stunted in that area. He's almost like a young, he's like an 18, 19 year old who just wants to have good sex and love. That's all he wants. And all these chicks are not really available to him in a way they could be. Some of someone in the chat room said Carter falls in love too easily. Yes. I think that's, I don't remember who said it, but you know, there's, and I think we mentioned that. Yes. Carter's in love with the idea of being in love. And so when he has feelings for someone, it's the be and an end all of it. Yes. Yes. It's completely, with me, I don't, I have friends who fall in love with you. Trust me, I have friends who are every five minutes they're in love. Yeah. Uh, they go hard. and they're with their, So that's what I'm saying. He is completely it's, it just, it just, it just, it just seems like he's, he's enamored with all these people, and it's just he just can't help himself because he's just new at all this. Um, so, and so Jean, so he allowed I me. Mean, so when yeah. folks go off on to call him out, good they call him out. He needs to be called out and snap because because I like the fact that Grace doesn't seem as a good decent person. Like that's because where, where was she seeing? Both her daughters were, you know, Zoe was hurt by him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what a parent goes. So I can see why a parent would go, I don't know about you a parent. Now you would go out to Paris now and do that? Right, exactly. You broke one daughter's heart. You're not going anywhere near this other daughter. Right. Like, just stay away. But I get there are adults that can do whatever they want, but I can see I see where she's coming from. She's just like Oh, and Paris not is not gonna be happy when she finds out mom's meddling. Oh and oh, I, know. I know. That's but gonna they, be ugly. But they but they just Again, I see zero chemistry between Carter and Paris. I just don't Sub see Sub below it. temperature zero. Yeah, zero. So this part made me excited. It's just kind of like, okay, this is good. Yes. This, this guy was some excitement. I see, I see chemistry between Carter and Katie. I see chemistry Absolutely. between Carter. And I just don't see it between those two. Yeah. I even saw it with Zoe. I saw it with Zoe. I don't see it with this character. They're both beautiful people, both great actors, whatever. But I just don't see, I don't see the chemistry. And I think um, that's part of the problem for me. That's part of the problem for me. You know, so I'm like, that's just kind of, but to me, I don't people in the chat room are like, they're, they're torn. I see people are like, 
screw Grace, love Grace. I think that's Yeah, all. it's so that's funny. It. Like Grace needs to mind her own business. That's from Rodelli. I think, have any of you guys have parents? I mean, this is, my mother gets my, I'm 50, almost 53 years old, I think it's my business sometimes. It's what yeah. they do. And in certain cultures, is, and I'm just not talking about just people of color, certain cultures, Italian, Greek, whatever, there's a lot of family. If you're close to your parents, my mother has comments on everything I do. Absolutely. And I'm 52 years old, 63 years old. I'm a grandfather myself. I have comments on my child. My children are in their 30s. I have comments. It's yeah. one of those things that it's completely within for you to feel like, stay out of it. That's how life is. And I've told her this sometimes. It's my business. I'm doing it my way. Like, you know, I, I've had to tell her that. So I think it's, it's real. To me, it's realistic. So seeing the, the, seeing the, the panel, like the panel, the group in here, torn that makes sense to me that totally makes sense. makes sense so do you think carter's gonna realize that this isn't a good move or is this just gonna be more know. intoxicating i don't know with him i don't know i don't know this show is so surprising sometimes like you think they're going to because be, they've been bold the last two three yeah. years they have gone there right there are times we're like they're not gonna do that and they, they, they do it they do it yeah they made steffi and liam sleep together after all that time I was shocked they did that. I thought they were. I thought they were really done with that. Nope. Turn anything. I mean, I was shocked. Shocked. They Where's seem- Finn? On vacation. I saw him actually online. He's in. Vac- he's actually on vacation in real life. Okay. Uh, so he's time off. He was like skiing somewhere or whatever. He's had a good time with his kids. So yeah, he's he's on vacation. So because I would like a- Finn's input on on his. He's in the hospital behavior, working, but- Tammy. He's a doctor. Whatever. Tammy is a doctor. He's busy. It's long hours. Oh my god. <laughs> Amanda, man, is so funny. Amanda goes, if I had kids, I'd be so in their business. I like that's right. <laughs> now, Amanda, we know you would be Amanda. Oh, call you. Let's get the bell on that one. Get the bell on that one. You know you'd be in their business, Amanda. Mm-hmm. I am. I'm in my kids' business. I am. I admit it. They're grown ups. So you got to do what they want. But I, I still say what I have to say. My mom's in my. It's a, it's a, fa- it's a family thing. It's kind of like, yeah. like, I'm st- like I'm Stella on GH. That's just. A, that's just a. It's supposed to get on your nerves. That's the whole point. Is that parents or older figures in your life, elders in your life, they always they always get run their mouth. They always got something to say. Yeah. I mean, that's how it is. I mean, my grandmother used to say to me all the time, wow, James gained so much weight. Here's the food you love. And it's like, you just call me fat. And I can eat the food you made at the same time. But I knew it, I, she loved me. And it just, that's how they talk. So I, I learned after a while not to get upset. So that's how it is. But Carter, I have I couldn't tell you, Tammy, I have no idea where he's going to go with this because yeah. they're writing it and Lawrence is writing it too. They're writing it every, I mean, a lot of times they use it. The fact they had Douglas uncover this was, it was very bald. I mean, that actor, look, Henry Sammy, he's, 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 he's um, yeah, he's been absolutely amazing. 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 Yes. So I think this show is, I just, I don't know. I, that's a great question. I have no idea. They can go any direction at this point. You know, when Paris said, but, Car- but Zendi will understand Carter, and Carter said, no, Zendi will not understand. Not understand. Well, and the Foresters are not going to understand. Ooh, sure ain't, sure ain't. So at the end of the day, I can't do this again. I can't be in this position again. You can't? No. <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> but I can, see a, I can see a future with you, too. No. <laughs> it, no. Oh, my God. George Beck was like, Carter, Amanda would say, they're kids. Can I say something first? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Can I say something first? Uh, no, I'm telling you. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, folks. Um, we didn't get any. We didn't get any shirtless car this week, which I'm upset about. But that's fine. I'll be okay. But I'm just telling you. Last week, the week before, when she, when she had no shirt, he had no. I can't even talk. She had no. He had no shirt on, and she was hanging on his pecs. I was like, well, <laughs> that's it. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> like rock climbing. I when told you, I, 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 I was I te- a rock climb. I texted you guys. I texted me, we t- me Amanda, and, and Tammy on a text chain. And I said, I tell you to count the abs this week. That was two yeah. weeks ago. I said, you should count the abs because there yeah. was like 20. I was like, I'd be hanging on to you. I, I just, I mean, I get why. <laughs> I get it. Trust me. I totally get it. But oh, no, I just want this. No. I know. I see, I think, I think um, it's going to be Grace and Carter. They're going to fall into something. Excuse me? Because, okay, folks out there, here's the deal. How old do you think Carter is? 
Right. I don't think, how old do you think Paris is? Paris graduated college. So I would, I would say she's in her mid-20s. Yeah, 25, youngest. 24, 25. Okay. I'm thinking he's in his late 30s or is he in his 40s? I don't you know. know. You know, back don't crack. So yeah, we I know. think Carter is 40. mid, like 35 maybe? As I said, I don't know how old. 36? So when, when you said much older, I'm like, well, I don't know how old he is. Because Rich and them are in their 50s. I know that. Yeah. But I don't, I don't get, I don't know how, I don't know how old. Carter's supposed to be. Yeah. What, whatever age Carter is, there's no, there's no age difference there. Yeah. I mean, there's no age lips. difference there. <laughs> they fall into each other's lips. They do fall into each other's lips. They fall. But as I'm saying, I, I could almost, Carter's almost 40, late 30s, late 40s. So I'm thinking, so that's not that much older. I mean. And so what? I know. But Grace said it. That's why everybody's bringing it because Grace said it. Much older, man. That's why I left that much yeah, older. Yeah, she's just girl. throwing stuff at him. She is. At yeah, the end of the day, me. she, you know, she just doesn't want her daughter with Carter. She wants so I, him, she wants her with Zenday. So you're too old. You're gonna break her heart. You did this to Zoe. She's just yeah. throwing stuff. And, and Carter's like, boom, 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 boom. He's almost twice her age. I don't think he's I don't think he's that old. I'm twice her age. If she's 45? 26, no. 26, I'm 52. That's twice her age. I don't think he's 52. No. Again, back don't crack. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he, I don't think he's that age. I think he's, I want to say, I'm like you guys, late 30s, maybe, maybe 40, early 40s. So I don't know. I'm, we'll have to ask Lauren St. Victor next time. How old um, is Carter? How old is, how old is Carter? Let's see, if he, see what he says. I'm asking that. So I'm asking, how old, how old is he Carter? Yeah, to Shonda972, her reply, much older varies from person to person. That could be it too. Well, no, I know, Ridge, Ridge is of a certain age, but he acts like a 20-year-old. Right. So The actor Lawrence is 39. But go on, go on, man, and rush to a CSI. Um, <laughs> um, but my thing is, I think, it's, I think I'm more like Tammy. Like, it was just trying to hurt him. Like, we just say, he is older than right. her, clearly. But it's right. like, but I think it's going to be Grace and Carter. You hate each other at first. It's a, it's a soap thing. Interesting. And, and they look cute together. See, I see chemistry. I see chemistry between them. I see it. Well, I see chemistry between them more than I do with Paris. Yeah, That's same here. Sure. Now, that would shock sure. everybody if her and if they fell into bed. Because, come on, all she, Grace needs to see, needs to see Carter naked, half naked. That's what she, <laughs> she'll understand. Tammy, she'll understand. She'll understand. She used to go, she used to, go to his house to confront him about something. Sit on that couch. Boom. And that's, it. that's it. That's it. That's it, Tammy. That's uh, it. If you sat, Tammy, if you sat on that couch, you'd be like, Ernie, I'm just sorry. It, I, <laughs> couch. You see, you see him. Ernie might sit on that couch and be like, okay. I, I, I showed pictures of Lawrence and Victor half naked to some of my straight male friends. They're like, I'd, I'd go gay for him too. I mean, that's like, they're like, that's, I mean, come on. You don't already be like, okay, he's hot. He is hot. I mean, come on. Oh, and man, Joe, you know, he'd do the same thing. Be like, he is hot. I mean, like, if you sit on that couch next to him, Tammy, you know, if he just says, Tammy, go there. You'd be, you be all in. You'd be hanging on. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, I would. I know I would be. I know we're friends and all, but I'm just, I'm going to hang on too. Yeah. <laughs> come on, girl. You know it's true. Girl, you know it's true. Ooh, oh, ooh, lordy ooh. lord. I love you. And that's our show today, actually. Ooh, 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 but can I just say, oh, I yes, think, yes. you know, we, we came up, I think we should have a little segment, performance of the week. Okay, and, and we were talking about this before the show, but Catherine Kelly Lang, yes. your performance day to day has been so extraordinary. Yes. We likened it to Annika Noel's two years stint yes. when she was crying nonstop <laughs> yes. every day for after the loss of, you know, Hope's baby and that sort yes. of thing. Oh, yeah. Just you, her performances, her just accessibility emotionally is beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. So performance of the week, KKL. I want, I agree. And I think that I'll, I'll just piggyback and add that it's her being on the edge all the time. Oh God. That's not easy, that's not easy to pull off no. all the time. It's it hurts to watch. It's believable. It's very believable. Um, so yes, yeah, it Manda, no, you can't sit on the couch, Manda. No, no couch for you. <laughs> no couch for you. No couch. We all, we all know what you do, of course. No, he's on that couch, the vortex. Mm -hmm. So I'm stuck in a KKL vortex. <laughs> exactly. It's all, it's all crazy. Um, but that's, our, that's our show for today. Uh, we love doing the show. It's, it's, it makes me laugh. It's so funny. So I guess we'll see you next week. It's, I guess it's officially... 
February sweets. I guess they still do that kind of. Oh. So that's why I think a lot of shows are heating up. Okay. And that's why I think Y and R, GA, they're all heating up. But days is off for the next couple of weeks because of, because of the Olympics. But the other shows, I think, are ramping up. Mm-hmm. You're all great choice, Tammy. Um, Tammy, go ahead. Somebody can find you. Instagram, Tammy.Govea, and on Twitter and Facebook, Tammy Govea. See you there. Thank you to the 30 people who are watching. That's yeah, so that's awesome. Don't forget to like. Hit that like button. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Um, and uh, Daytime Today is our new show in the afternoons. JLJ This Morning is my show in the mornings where I talk about everything from bacon to McDonald's to <laughs> race relations. I talk about everything on that morning, morning show. Usually it's me and my hair wild and a cup of coffee, and we just talk it out live. So JLJ this morning, daytime today, they're your chat show. So just check them out. Uh, and Amanda says she'll be back next Sunday. So we'll see if we let her in. I don't know. I may, I may not. <laughs> we'll see. I'll see, how, I'll see how I feel by then, by next Sunday. Just kidding. We love you, Amanda. Everybody, please take care of yourselves. If you're going to watch GH, I'll be on in 